Okay, um, working away at getting a two-piece drive shaft for the rear diff instead of a three-piece drive shaft. There's um, reasons best explained on the whiteboard for that. So let's let's take off over here. Turn that light off. Little small car. Wow, well, relatively small. Wheels here, like that. Floor quite low. Passenger seat mounted like this. You can't take a prop shaft straight through. It uh, that becomes a big problem. So the original build, we've got a transfer box about here somewhere. The prop shaft was three pieces, so it came down along here. I had to clear a couple of things on the motor and then come back up to the rear diff. So it had to be three pieces. It wasn't ideal. Um, I didn't really want to shift the height of the passenger seat, but that is what's going to happen. So now what's going to... the deal is well, I've managed to get away with just a two-piece shaft with a very slight kink in the middle and lifted the passenger seat up a little bit so the passenger seat will be a bit higher. So that should um, that should be a bit better. And we won't have any vibrations, hopefully. Uh, somebody's asked about, a lot of people have asked about, the gear lever. How does the gear lever work? Because the gearbox is mounted backwards in the car, and when you sit in the driver's seat, all the gears will be backwards to what you expect. So there's a there's very, very simple solution for that. What you do is there's the top of the gearbox. Here's your gear lever that comes out, and normally I don't know, it's that long, you know. So you cut that off there. So the gear lever is now only that long. You put a pivot point on top of here. You put another gear lever on the top of it with another pivot point. Now, when I shift the gear lever forward, It'll do that, pivoting here, pivoting here, and it'll do that. So the gear lever will go towards the front of the engine, rear of the car. So it reverses it. So and it's it's the same left and right, and it's the same backwards and forwards. So first gear is where first gear is, reverse is where it reverses. You don't have um, you don't have the nightmare of trying to figure out where all the gears are. And accidentally selecting the wrong gears so that's that's what's contained underneath that aluminium case that you see there there's a spherical bearing on the top um, it's actually a, a suspension component that's being repurposed but that's what that does um, I can't show you without lowering the hoist down we won't bother with that uh, here's our bit of debauchery gone on here, a lot of material removed to get a one piece shaft in the rear section so it comes off the, the rear diff, comes forward and there's a CV joint here and that disappears to this shaft that comes up here to the transfer box. So that's what we're working on right now. Um, once we've got all that sort of stuff figured out we'll work on getting a, um, a flat bottom floor in here to um, to help with aero stuff and things so yeah please uh, please subscribe and like and uh, share that'd be awesome cheers guys